In this video, we're going to be talking about certain functions within Excel that is going to be very useful for those of you who might be taking statistics. So the first thing that we need to know how to calculate is the sum. We need to know how to total the values in a column. So if you type in equal sum parenthesis, highlight a column of values, close the parenthesis, that'll give you the sum of that column. Now let's say if you want to count the number of data points in a column, you can type in equal count and then select the values and then close the parenthesis. So from 2 to 20 we have 19 data points. Now if we wish to calculate the average or the mean, we could take the sum and divide it by the count. So we could take the information in cell E2 and divide it by the information found in E3. Another way in which we can get the same answer is by typing equal average and then simply highlight the column of data of which you want to take the average of. So those are two ways in which you can calculate the average and the mean within Excel. Now let's calculate the median. The median is basically the middle number. If you look at the values that we have, the lowest number is 52, the highest is 99. The median is somewhere in the middle within that range. So if you type in median, and then the process is the same. Simply select the column of data. In this example, the middle number is 84. Now the mode is the number with the highest frequency. It's the number that appears most often. If you were to list this data from the smallest to the largest, you'll find that 86 is the one with the highest frequency. In this case, it appears twice in uh, the test grades that we have here. Every other number appears once, so that's going to be the mode. And we can quickly find it by type in equal mode and then just highlight the data. So 86 is the mode. To find a minimum, I mean, we can easily see the minimum is 52, but if we had, let's say, if this went up to a thousand rows, you wouldn't want to search through a thousand rows to find the minimum. In this case, this function will be very useful. So if you type in equal min, select the data, it's going to output the minimum value in that data. Likewise, we could find the maximum value by typing equal max and doing the same thing. So the minimum is 52, the maximum in the range is 99. Now to calculate the range, it's simply the difference between the maximum value, which is the information found in cell E8, minus the minimum value, cell E7, and the difference gives us the range. Now the next function that we need to discuss is the standard deviation. If you try to calculate the standard deviation by hand, you know it's a process, it takes time. But with Excel, you could find the answer a lot faster. So if you type in equal STDEV, there's two types. There's the population standard deviation and there's also sample standard deviation. Typically, you'll be using the sample standard deviation formula. So if you type in .s, it'll give you that. And then we'll highlight our column of data. And so for this particular example, the standard deviation of the test scores in this class is 12.46. To calculate the variance, we can type in equal var. Dot .p will be population variance, dot .s, sample variance. and then we'll follow the same procedure. Now, notice that the variance is simply the square of the standard deviation. So if we type in equal cell E10, raise it to the second power, you're gonna get the same answer. So if you know the standard deviation, you automatically know what the variance is gonna be. 
you just gotta square that answer. Now let's talk about quartiles and percentiles because we can calculate that as well in Excel. The zero quartile is the zero percentile, which is basically the minimum value in the range of data. But to get it, type in equal quartile. Now you could choose exclusive or inclusive, or you could choose the older function. I'm just going to type in quartile. And then we'll highlight the data. Once you highlight the data, press comma. Now the next number is, okay, what type of quartile do you want? As you can see here, the zero quartile is the minimum value. The fourth quartile is the maximum value. The first quartile, Q1, that's the 25th percentile. That's the first quarter. The second quartile is the median value, the 50th percentile. The third quartile is the 75th percentile. Let's calculate quartile zero. As we can see, it's the same as the minimum. Now let's calculate quartile one. So that's 75. And then we'll calculate quartile two. As you can see, the second quartile is the same as the median. Quartile three. 88.5, that's the 75th percentile. And then quartile four, that is equivalent to our maximum value. So now you know how to calculate any quartile within Excel. Now let's focus on calculating percentiles. So if you type in equal percentile, select the array. Now to find the 25th percentile, after you press comma, you don't want to plug in 25. The 25th percentile is equivalent to 0.25. Think of 20, 25%. 25% is 0.25 as a decimal. So you want to type in the decimal value here. And that'll give you the 25th percentile which is the same as the first quartile. Now let's calculate the 40th percentile. So it's equal percentile, highlight the column of data, press comma, and then 0 0.40. So that'll give us the 40th percentile. Now let's get the 50th percentile. So 0.50. As we can see, the 50th percentile is the same as the second quartile, which is the same as the medium. I mean, not the medium, but the median. Now let's calculate the 70th percentile. So we're gonna type in 0.75, and that is the same as the third quartile. Next, we'll calculate the 90th percentile. So we'll type in 0.90, that's 94.4. And finally, the 100th percentile. A hundred percent as a decimal is simply one. The 100th percentile is the maximum value. If we wanna calculate the zero percentile, it's going to give us the minimum value or the lowest in the range, which is quartile zero and that's 52. So those are some common functions that you're going to encounter when you're taking an introductory course in statistics. You need to know how to calculate the mean, the median, the mode, the range, the variance, standard deviation, the quartiles, the percentiles, and even the deciles. While I'm here, we might as well calculate a few deciles. Well, let's calculate decile zero, decile one, 
decile 5, decile 7, and decile 10. So if you think of the meaning of quartiles, quartiles break up the set of numbers into four parts. Think of four quarters and a dollar. Deciles, they're going to break up the numbers in ten parts. Think of deci. Deci is a tenth of a decimeter is a tenth of a meter. So when you think of deci, think of one tenth of something. So to calculate the zero decile, type in equal percentile and then simply plug in a zero. That's how you find the zero to decile. Decile one is the same as the tenth percentile. So Excel doesn't have a decile function, so you need to use the percentile function to calculate the decile. So if you want the first decile, it's simply the tenth percentile. It goes in tens. So this is point ten. Decile two will be the twentieth percentile. Decile three, the thirtieth percentile. So this here is the fourth decile, which is the 40th percentile. Decile five, that's the 50th percentile. And that's going to be our median value. Decile seven is the 70th percentile. So we we'll have to type in 0.7. Decile 10, that's going to be our maximum value. It's going to be the 100th percentile, which we could just type it in, 99. So that's how you can calculate the deciles within Excel. Simply use the percentile function.